Hello, I'm going to show you a demonstration of the Flexera producer suite for contents right management. In this demonstration, we will focus on a fictitious content provider called PhotoSharePub. PhotoSharePub's rights for their end customers will be managed by FlexNet Operations, one of the key parts of the Flexera producer suite. So when agency.com acquires services, which will be the end customer in this case, an entitlement will be created which will govern many different activities and how agency.com interacts with that content. The first interaction will be through a SaaS application where agency.com will be able to view a catalog of content and be able to preview different albums and make decisions on different content that they may want to acquire. As they acquire content, certain usage information will be captured based upon the albums that they acquire and based on the different type of user from agency.com the SAS application will be rights aware giving different access to different users. Then we'll see how that same licensing technology can be used on an on-premise application so agency.com will use the PhotoShare on-premise application which could be running on a desktop or a mobile device to view the contents of the albums that they acquire. And finally, the third piece of the producer suite, FlexNet Connect, will enable the content provider to provide direct messaging to those end customers for cases of upsell opportunity, for example, when a new album becomes available, and will also be able to immediately notify the end customer of updates to that content, the content that they're entitled to. The components of FlexNet Operations, Licensing, and Connect make up the Flexera producer suite which can also be connected into an organization's ERP or CRM system. So we'll start the demonstration from when an order has been placed and fulfilled, Flexen Operations will send an email to the customer that has all the relevant information on what they need to get up and running. First is a link to their personalized site where they can provision new users and gain access to that personalized on-premise app. Another is a link to the actual photo services SaaS application so they can browse the catalog of albums. And very important is, is what they bought. So agency.com has acquired access for 15 users within their organization. Five of those users being content buyers and 10 of them being read-only users. And they've acquired $50,000 worth of content that they can download from PhotoSharePub that's good for essentially a year subscription. So let's start by going to that personalized site to see how they can provision new users. And this is the site in which agency.com will be able to add new users to the service. So in this case, the agency.com has added Marianne at agency.com as a read-only user. Now that they've been provisioned, they can log into the service and we'll see that they have read-only access. So now we're in the SaaS application for PhotoSharePub in which they can browse different catalogs and, and acquire different albums. Now that she's been provisioned of the system, she can register with the app. One thing I want to point out is if someone tried to gain access to the application that has not been provisioned, let's just say Ken at agency.com heard about this new service and wanted to try to get access to it because he heard that agency.com has acquired access. When he tries to register for the application, what happens is that it'll check if Ken at agency.com has actually been provisioned within the content rights solution FlexNet operations. In this case, it is not. But we know that Marianne has. So let's log in as Marianne. Now registering as Marianne, since she has been provisioned in the system, she now has access to the professional photo service from PhotoSharePub. So you can see that she can preview any catalog, such as the Happy People album in this case. But she does not have access to buy content. And you can see in this case, the buy button is grayed out because she has been provisioned as a read-only user. Now on the other hand, if we just log off for a moment and log in as John, John from the email we got was the primary contact and has actually already been provisioned as a content buyer. So when John logs into the service, 
you can see now he has the capability to buy content. So now we're going to transition over to John viewing the contents of these albums within the on-premises application provided by PhotosharePub. And if we call from the email to gain access to that application, that can be obtained right through the FlexNet Operations customer portal. So now within this portal, the customer portal, agency.com will be able to see the downloads that they are entitled to. So we can see that they have availability to the content viewer for viewing the album information. So before downloading the actual viewer, we have to agree to the EULA from PhotosharePub. And now that we've agreed to the EULA, we see the downloads that agency.com is entitled to, and we can download the content viewer and install it. And once it's installed, we see our on-premise application of course, this could be running on any type of desktop environment or even a mobile application. And to view the content, we can see that we don't have a license available because we actually haven't acquired any content from the photo service application. So let's go and do that and see how this works. So still logged in as John, to buy content, we simply have to buy the album which we're interested in. But we also need to check where we are within the total spend within agency.com. So within the application, we can get a view of the current usage. We can see that we have consumed $19,800 and we have available to us $30,200. So we certainly have enough availability to download new content. In this case, we're going to acquire the Happy People album and what happens is when we buy that, a new entitlement is created and we're issued an activation code which we can use to unlock the content viewer. We can also see that our total spending has changed based upon the $2,500 album we just acquired. And now we'll use our new code to unlock our viewer. And we can see now that we have access to browse the Happy People album that we've acquired. So now the next step is for the content provider to keep their end customers up to date with any information such as updates to the albums that they're entitled to, as well as potential new upsell opportunity for new albums that become available. In this case, we have an application FlexNet Connect that can give us this information right inside the product itself. So we can see that we do, in fact, for the Happy People 1.0 version, that Photo Share Pub has added 15 new pictures that I can download into my viewer and have access to immediately. We also see some information from Photo Share Pub that they've added a new album that's available, and if they buy now, they can get a 10% discount. So essentially what PhotosharePub can do is to provide any type of information to that end customer that is entitled to content that they've acquired from their professional photo services application. So to summarize, this is a case of using the FlexERA producer suite in a content management solution where FlexNet licensing is used within a SaaS environment as well as an on-premise application to provide entitled content to that user as well as being able to provide in-product messaging and updates to the content that the customer, in this case, agency.com acquires. Thank you very much.